This is SAT test 6, non-calculator question number 15. College Board gives you a special quadratic which can be viewed as a difference of two squares and they're going to make you do that. And say, they say it can be written as one-third x minus kx plus k. What's the value of k? And they give you four choices. If you find this hard, one option is to just substitute in the choices. So if I try one-third x minus two x plus 2, that's choice A. That's 1 third, and then FOIL gives me x times x is x squared, x times positive 2 is plus 2x, negative 2 times x is minus 2x, and negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. The two middle terms, 2x and negative 2x, cancel, they add it to 0. So that's 1 third x squared minus 4 distributing. I get one third times x squared, and one third times negative four is minus four thirds, which is not the same as one third x squared minus two, so that's wrong. And I could continue through the choices that way, but I have another option. If I recognize that this is a difference of two squares in their factoring, but they want a common factor of one third. I want one-third x squared minus, what do I multiply by one-third to get negative two? That would be negative six. And if I check distributing, one-third times x squared is one-third x squared, one-third times negative six is negative two. And now I can factor this. And they gave me the form, x and x minus and plus k where k times k equals 6. The number multiplied by itself that gives you 6 is choice D, root 6. And if I try FOIL, first times first is x squared. The outsides are positive root 6x. The insides are negative root 6x. And last times last is negative times positive is negative root 6 times root 6 is 6. That simplifies to 1 third x squared minus 6 because these two terms again add to 0. And that distributes 1 third times x squared is 1 third x squared. 1 third times negative 6 is 1 third negative 6 is negative 2. And 1 third x squared minus 2 without the parentheses that I had here is my original expression. So the correct answer is choice D. You'll want to be proficient with factory and foil and with your special quadratics, especially the difference of two squares, because they often appear on your SAT. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.